Hello guys and welcome to TechWolf. If you find this video useful or entertaining, please consider subscribing and liking this video. And now let's get into it. And by the way guys, this is 1000th video on this TechWolf channel. And no further ado, let's get into it and let's do this CompTIA Plus Core 1 test. A technician needs to transfer files between two computers over the network using secure protocol. Which protocol should they use? FTP, SFTP, Telnet, POP3 or LDAP? And here the correct answer is SFTP. As FTP, Secure File Transfer Protocol encrypts file transfers over a network, making it more secure than FTP. And for those who didn't know, then SFTP is being transferred on port 22 rather than port 20 or 21, where is being transferred FTP files. And next question, a user wants to connect the highest resolution external monitor to their laptop. Which connection provides the best performance for 4K at 120 Hz? HDMI 1.4, VGA, DisplayPort 1.4, DVI-D or USB 2.0? And here the correct answer would be DisplayPort 1.4, as DisplayPort 1.4 supports 4K at 120 Hz, making it ideal for high resolution, high refresh rate displays. And next question, a technician is setting up a wireless printer. Which protocol is commonly used for discovering network printers automatically? Bonjour, POP3, RDP, SMTP or HTTPS? And here the correct answer is Bonjour. As Bonjour is service discovery protocol used for automatically detecting devices like network printers. A technician needs to replace failing storage drive in laptop. Which interface is commonly used for internal laptop SSDs? SATA, M.2 NVMe, USB, RJ45 or Thunderbolt? And here the correct answer and you should know this guys is that this is M.2 NVMe. As M.2 NVMe is common interface for high speed internet SSDs in modern laptops. A technician is setting up a Windows remote desktop connection. Which port should be open on the firewall for this to work. 443, port 80, port 25, port 53 or port 3389. And here the correct answer is port 3389. As Windows Remote Desktop Protocol, RDP operates on port 3389. A technician is setting up a security camera system that requires constant high-speed data transfer over long distances. Which connection type should they use? CAT5e Ethernet, Fiber Optic, Coaxial, USB 3.0 or RJ11? And here the logical answer would be fiber optic, as fiber optic cables support high speed data transmission over long distances with minimal interference. And a user wants to connect a smartphone to a car stereo for both charging and audio playback. Which connector is most likely used? RJ45, DVI, Serial, USB-C or eSATA? And the correct answer here is USB-C, as USB-C supports charging and data transfer, making it ideal for smartphone to car stereo connections. A technician is connecting a monitor to a desktop computer. Which of the following connectors will support both video and audio? HDMI, DVI, VGA, DisplayPort, or USB-C. And here actually three answers should be correct, not only one. 
as most popular would be HDMI, that's why I would select the HDMI, but also as the po correct answer for this question would be not only HDMI, that would be also a display port and that would be also a USB-C port. And here you can see a correct answer, HDMI, display port and USB-C. As HDMI, display port and USB-C ports, both video supports both video and audio signals where DVI and VGA only support video. A user reports that they cannot receive emails but can send them without issue. Which protocol is most likely misconfigured? SMTP, IMAP, FTP, HTTPS or RDP. So user can send email but they cannot receive emails. So which port or protocol is responsible for receiving emails? And here the correct answer would be IMAP. As IMAP Internet Message Access Protocol is responsible for retrieving emails from a mail server, while SMTP is used for sending emails. A technician needs to connect a laptop to wired network, but the laptop does not have an Ethernet port. What is the best solution? VGA to Ethernet adapter? HDMI to Ethernet adapter, RJ11 converter, USB to Ethernet adapter or Wi-Fi repeater. And here's the most or the best answer would be ESB, USB to Ethernet adapter. As a USB to Ethernet adapter allows laptops without built-in Ethernet ports to connect to wired networks. A user needs to connect an older external hard drive that has an eSATA port to a modern laptop with only USB ports. What is the best solution? Use an eSATA to USB adapter. Use USB to VGA converter. Connect via RJ45. Replace the hard drive with an SSD. Or use a DisplayPort cable. So what would be the best option here? And here the correct answer would be use an eSATA to USB adapter as an eSATA to USB adapter allows compatibility between modern laptops and older eSATA storage devices. A technician is configuring a network printer which protocol is commonly used to send print jobs over a network. POP3, IPP, SMTP, IMAP, or RDP? And here the correct answer is IPP, as the Internet Printing Protocol or IPP allows printing over a network. A user wants to transfer video and audio from their laptop to an external monitor, but also needs a USB connectivity through a single cable. Which port should they use? USB-C with DisplayPort Alt mode, HDMI, DVI, VGA or Ethernet. And here the correct answer would be USB-C with DisplayPort Alt mode. As USB-C with DisplayPort Alt mode supports video, audio and data transfer in a single cable. A technician is installing a new server that requires remote management even if the operating system fails. Which ports should they ensure is open for remote access using SSH? 3389, 22, 161, 53 or port 67? And here the correct answer would be port 22 or 22 for secure shell. As Secure Shell uses port 22 to provide secure remote access to system. As user is setting up a gaming PC and needs to connect a surround sound system, which connector should they look for? RJ45, DVI, VGA, Optical Toslink or eSATA? And here the correct answer would be Optical Toslink, as Optical Toslink cable provides high quality digital audio output, often used for surrounding sound systems. Which port does HTTPS use by default? So, what is default for HTTPS or Hypertext Transfer Protocol Secure? 
443, port 80, port 25, port 110 or port 21. And here the correct answer would be port 443, as HTTPS secure web traffic operates on port 443, while HTTP uses port 80. A technician is troubleshooting a user's internet connection and determines that DNS resolution is failing. Which command should they run to test DNS functionality? TraceART, NSLOOKUP, IPConfig, netstat or ping which port should which command should they use and the correct answer here is ns lookup as the ns lookup command checks domain name resolution helping diagnose dns issues a technician is setting up a voip phone system in an office which protocol is primarily used for voice communication over the internet sip FTP, IMAP, SMB or RDP. And here for VoIP we would use SIP as the session initiation protocol or SIP is used for initiating, maintaining and terminating VoIP calls. A user wants to connect a laptop to a projector but only has a VGA port on the projector. What type of adapter should they use if the laptop only has an HDMI port? USB to Ethernet, HDMI to VGA, Display port to DVI, RJ45 to HDMI or Thunderbolt to Firewire. And here the correct answer is HDMI to VGA. As an HDMI to VGA adapter is needed to convert the digital HDMI signal to an analog VGA signal. A technician is connecting an external hard drive to a laptop for fast data transfer. Which port should they use for the highest speed? USB 2.0, VGA, USB 3.2, Ethernet or PS2. So which port should they use? And here the correct answer would be USB 3.2 as USB 3.2 provides significantly faster data transfer speeds compared to an older USB standards. And here you go guys, another quiz, another test. Let me know in comments how did you do on this test and if you found this video useful, leave a like, share this video, subscribe to the channel if you are new and see you in the next one.